Hey there, I'm Richie Zellan, and this video is the fourth in a series of 10 easy jazz blues lessons, which I've put together for beginning jazz guitarists, or even traditional blues, or classic rock guitarists that want to gradually get their feet wet in the jazz waters. <laughs> now, even if you are a more advanced jazz player, I believe you can never have enough jazz blues heads in your repertoire. And even if you don't play more than a couple of blues during a gig, these compositions offer some great phrases that you can quote during any blues solo. And for this fourth lesson, I've chosen a blues written by bassist Oscar Pettiford entitled Blues in the Closet. Now the original composition actually consists of several parts, but uh, today I'm going to teach you only the uh, first part, which is mostly played. And I want to add that when I was first uh, introduced to this piece, I said to myself, where have I heard this before? Well, I finally figured it out, and if you were ever exposed to punk rock, <laughs> which I don't expect most of you were, or maybe, who knows, there is a song by the Violent Femmes called Blister in the Sun. And it just so happens that the first eight measures or so are almost identical to what Pettiford wrote many decades earlier. As a matter of fact, I'm sure that if Oscar Pettiford hadn't been a long time dead when this song, you know, became a hit, he would definitely have sued the Violent Femmes. So today, you get a special treat. You get to learn a great jazz blues head, which at the same time doubles as a classic punk rock theme. <laughs> So what I'm going to do next, as usual, is I'm going to play this blues at, at tempo and improvise over a couple of choruses, and you can get a feel for the tune. And then I'm going to play the melody very slow and make some comments on what is going on. And as usual, I'm not going to use any tabs or any notation. So be prepared to... Uh, just grab your guitar because these are very easy to recall themes. They're really memorable. And just watch, listen, and learn. Here it goes. <laughs> So let's learn it, and most likely, if you're an ex-punk rocker, you already know it, or maybe you just knew how to play it in E. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to place our index finger on the eighth fret, this is in the key of A flat, and we're in eighth position, and we have an A flat, the root here on the second string, on the ninth fret. And before I continue, it's been said that good things 
uh, usually come in groups of three, <laughs> and the blues is no exception. And if you've been following this series of uh, blues themes, you might have noticed uh, this concept throughout. And what I'm talking about is that these 12 bar blues that we're looking at usually consist of three uh, four measure phrases. And usually it's the same phrase uh, played three times with a slight variation in the middle one. And that's the case with uh, blues in the closet too. And it goes like this, and let me explain where the uh, variation is on this one. And this is something you might want to look out for when learning other blues uh, themes because this concept uh, usually uh, holds true for many, many, many of the blues heads out there. So this is the basic theme, the basic four measure theme. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the theme. Now, the second time around, it's identical except for one note. In other words, we're playing the same phrase over the four chord. In this case, it's over a D flat seven, and it goes. See, that's the note that changes. And then. There, we're back over the one chord. And for the uh, last four measures, it's identical to the uh, first time we played it, in other words. So let me play it again real slow. I'm going to play it all three times, and you can see the, uh, the chord progression that I'm playing against. And then uh, I might make uh, some suggestions on some other stuff that I might do around it. One, two, three, four. See, it's very simple. So basically, we have this triad here, this uh, A flat major triad. It's like your open, your open D chord, only that we're doing it up here, where the root is A flat. And of course, instead of using three fingers, I'm barring down on the eighth fret. And I'm basically playing root, the third on the first string, back to the root, then playing the fourth, back to the third, and here I go down to the fifth, back to the root. So the first and, and, and the third time that I play the line, that's all I'm doing. The second time, I go to the B natural here for the uh, four chord because that happens to be the flatted seven of D flat. The rest of it is the same. And other than that, you might have heard me play something additional between uh, the lines. And what I do is. See, I, you could do anything there, but it just depends on the tempo you play it at and how much you have, how much time you have to throw something else in there. And that's simple enough where, you know, you can stay in position. So there you go. There's not a whole lot more I can say about this piece. 
Just have fun with it, and I'll see you soon. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you want to learn more, I want to encourage you to visit my website, jazzguitarrichiezellen.com. There you'll find hundreds of free lessons with downloadable PDFs and MP3s. You can also register for my newsletter and instantly receive a free copy of my book, 20th Century Jazz Guitar, featuring dozens of transcriptions of phrases by the most influential players in the history of jazz guitar. And as if this were not enough, you will also receive three videos where I teach you my favorite phrases from the book. So don't miss out.